Hello friends, welcome to National PC YouTube channel, myself Prasenjit. Today I will talk about one of the compact storage solution from QNAP, QNAP TS464. It has the quad based storage solution, it can support up to 4 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch hard disks. In this TS464, there are many more features which are powerful features like it has the quad core processor, it has inbuilt GPU for video processing, it has dual LAN port for faster data read and write speed, also it has the dual M.2 slot for the caching system. In this video, I will talk about all these technical features about this product. So let's begin this video. QNAP TS464. It has many more features. We are right now in the era of storage. Everywhere there are a lot of storage required. Like in the mobile phone, there is 50 megapixel, 100 megapixel. All the image size is bigger and bigger and bigger. And the cloud service for the online storage, these are also increasing day by day. The pricing is very much high. And also there is some privacy reason also there. If you there are lots of cloud service also available which are secure, but still you don't want to upload your private photos and videos in the cloud because there is some security issue also always. So you always need some storage solution in your own. In your own cloud system is always required. Also, if you have the office or if you have the enterprise edition or if you have some uh, multiple uh, access uh, devices required with the same storage solution, you need your own cloud system. TS464 have all the technical features to support all your requirements. Like it has the four um, base system, you can support up to four 3.5 inch hard disks and you can use all type of RAID system with this uh, TS464. Like you can copy all the files or you can duplicate all the, your files or you can mirroring all the images, all your product and everything. QNAP TS464. Now if we talk about the technical specification, this particular device has the Intel Celeron quad core processor which is N5095 processor. And if we talk about this memory, this particular device has two variants, one is 4GB variant, another one is 8GB variant, which is the DDR4 3200 MHz of RAM. If we talk about the display purpose or the graphics unit, it has the Intel HD graphics, which can process your 4K video in cloud system or in a remote system, which is very smooth way. It has the dual LAN port, which is 2.5 Gbps LAN port. With this 2.5 GPS dual LAN port, you can achieve up to 600 Mbps of read and write speed, which will near about the other NAS system, which will already have the 10 Gbps of LAN. This particular device has one more additional feature, it has the PCI slot. With this additional PCI slot, you can install the dual 10 Gbps port. If you install the dual 10 Gbps port with this TS464 device, you can achieve up to 1600 Mbps of read and write speed. Now if we talk about the total number of storage, this particular device can support up to 66 terabyte of storage with this 4 bay and this device also have the extendable features. You can extend this TS464 with the other uh, QNAP storage. If you attach the other QNAP storage with this parallel with this device to connect it, so it will can support this particular OS can support up to 280 terabyte of storage which is huge storage. With this 280 terabyte of storage, you can use for your industrial application, you can use for your office purpose, also you can use for your personal home cloud purpose, this TS464. This TS464 also have the dual M.2 slot which is generation 3. With this generation 3 M.2 slot, you can use the NVMe SSD. With this NVMe SSD, you can use as a caching system. With this caching system, you can support up to 4 terabyte of SSD with this TS464. So the data access will be very much faster. So you can play uh, um, from your this TS464, you can play your 4K video or also you can data access the all kind of data. And also this caching system helps you to multiple access. So if your home purpose you need some three or four device at a time to access this particular device that is also supported. Also it can support the industrial applications is this caching system. So multiple users can log in with this TS464 and access all their data with this smooth service. TS464 also have one more advantage. This particular TS464 have AI processor which can detect the face uh, the very much faster. 
so you can use this for your face recognition software with this connected with the ts464 that will be very much helpful for your application ts464 also have one more advantage it has the hdmi port and usb port you can use this device like your personal computer if you connect your monitor with this ts464 and keyboard and mouse with the usb port you can operate like a personal computer you can play your video you can access all the files it has the QTS operating system QTS 5 which is very smooth so let's unpack this device and I will show you all the technical details I will show you all the ports about this device and how to install the hard disk with this TS464 so let's unpack this QNAP TS464 let's unpack this it's 8GB RAM variant on the front side it's already written it has quad core 2.9 GHz processor it also have two M.2 slot for SSD for caching system. It also have one PCI Gen 3 expansion slot. You can use any kind of accessories in this access, uh, expansion slot like dual 10 Gbps port or additional SSD port for the caching system. It has inbuilt 2.5 Gbps LAN which is dual port. So let's unpack this and check what are the accessories inside. Left side is the accessories. This is the main device. This is good quality power cable. This is the accessories box. This is a quick installation guide. Extended warranty card. This is RJ45. LAN patch cut. These are the screws for the install the hard disks. And this is the power adapter. Let's check the power adapter rating. It's a 12 volt output and near about 7.5 amperes. So maximum voltage is 90 watts. It's already written. Now check the main device. Very small spawn form factor. Wow, very sleek design. Color combination also very good, black and golden color combination. Let's check from the front side. Front side, this is uh, one click copy button. This is the USB 3.2 generation 2 port. It has the 10 Gbps of total bandwidth. These are the LEDs for the four hard disks and this is the power button. This is the activity LED. 
If you check the left side, left side this is the unlock for the Hartix installation. I will show you later. This is for the ventilation. And this side there is no ventilation. And this is the back side. Back side this is the first one is the USB 3.2 generation 2 port. Here is one reset switch inside this. This is also the USB port for USB 2.0. This one is for the HDMI port. This HDMI port you can use this for the display purpose. You uh, directly, uh, if you want to directly play your videos or directly access your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, documents, everything, it has the inbuilt operating system. So you can directly connect this monitor with this device. This two LAN port, this is the pre-installed LAN port. This is 2.5 Gbps LAN port. So with this dual 2.5 GBps LAN port, you can access up to 600 Mbps of redirect speed. And this is for the expansion slot. This expansion slot you can use for the additional SSD or you can use the dual 10 Gbps port. So now if it is in the bottom side, bottom side this is for the ventilation purpose. Now we will check this, this side. This up side is for the uh, lock position and this is for the unlock position. Lock and unlock. If we do the unlock, the front side, this is just sliding, simple sliding. It has the little spring mechanism. So you can open this. And the installation process is very easy. You just have to press this and open this. Press and open. You can check this is the all SATA port and SATA data port is already pre installed there. You just have to push the hard disk, it will automatically connect this port automatically. And this side it has the motherboard, you can install the RAM. Mm, it is already have the 8GB RAM installed, you can additionally attach one 8GB more RAM with this device. If you install the SSD, you can use the SSD from this position, you have the access for the M.2 SSD. One M.2 SSD in this position, and another M.2 SSD is this position, left side and this side. Now we will install the hard disk. We have don't have the NAS hard disk side now. For the demonstration purpose, we have normal WD Blue One TB hard disk. Installation process is very easy. So it has the two type of uh, you can attach the screw for the permanent purpose or you can just lock with this plastic key. That's it. The RAM installation is very easy. This position, you have to just push it, the installation is done. M.2 SSD also very easy. You can use the M.2 SSD in this position. That's it. And then the lock. All installation has done. Let's power up this device and check its internal operating system using one monitor and HDMI cable. Now we have connected TS464 with this monitor and we have already installed all the hard disks. Let's power up this device. You can check this LED is glowing up for the power and these are the hard disk LED that will glow up after this booting up.
This is the bio screen. Total memory is 8 GB and the speed is 266. CPU configuration you can check. This is N5105 and it's running right now at 2 GHz. You can boost this from the bio screen. This is the hardware monitor. You can check the temperature. This is very much normal temperature. The chipset function, security, boot, boot. This is the QNAP OS. This is the first priority. And this is the, uh, the NBA message we have installed for the cache. This was showing. And this is the built in EFI cell. This is a UFI. So we will save this from here. Now the Q2S OS will be booted up. As this is a new device, TS464, it will ask you to do the smart installation or you can exit for the smart installation, do for the customized installation. All the installation process and the how to use this device from the Q2S OS, we will show you on the another video. QNAP TS464, it has all the powerful features to use this device as your personal cloud system or your business purpose cloud system. I hope you have enjoyed all the technical features about these features. Also, you have liked the looks of this particular device. If you enjoyed this video, like and share as much as possible. Also, subscribe our National Peace YouTube channel to get the latest videos on this channel. If you need any kind of technical information about this particular device, please comment us below in this video. I will see you on the next video.